Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. So Oleg Sentsov turned 43 years old this past weekend. And for the acclaimed Ukrainian filmmaker, who is best known for his award-winning 2011 film Gamer, it marked the sixth consecutive birthday he has spent in captivity. Now, by now, Sentsov's story is well known. He was detained back in May 2014, shortly after Russia's forceful and illegal annexation of Crimea. He was charged and convicted of plotting terrorist acts and sentenced to 20 years in prison in a case that Amnesty International and other rights groups have described as fabricated. Sensov was reportedly tortured, and he was awarded the European Parliament's Sakharov Prize in 2018. Sensov's real crime in the eyes of the Kremlin was his support for Ukraine's pro-Western and pro-democratic Euromaidan uprising and his vocal opposition to the unlawful annexation of Crimea. We all know the story by now, or at least we should. But what I want to talk about today is how we refer to Sensov, what we call him. Because Sensov is most commonly referred to as a political prisoner. And quite frankly, this drives me crazy because it's wrong. A political prisoner is somebody who is incarcerated by their own government, by the country of which they are a citizen for their political beliefs, convictions, speech, or actions. Now, Russia is incarcerating a lot of political prisoners, but Oleh Sensov is not one of them. Because Sensov is a Ukrainian citizen who was seized on Ukrainian territory by Russia's security services. Russia illegally stripped him of his Ukrainian citizenship and now claims he's a Russian citizen. But exactly nobody outside Russia believes this. And if Sensov is a citizen of one country who's being unlawfully held in captivity by another country, well, that makes him a hostage. And that makes Putin's Russia a rogue state. Something worth remembering as we mark the fifth anniversary of the shooting down of MH17. Language matters, and it's important to call things by their correct names. So happy belated birthday, Ale. We haven't forgotten you or the other hostages being held by the Putin regime. And we hope to see you all free soon. Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a vertical video.